Hey guys, it's Jovi and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about the assassination of the Haitian president, okay? I'm from Brooklyn. I know Haitians. Um, I got a lot of video just literally sent to me about like, wow. Before we begin, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I literally just walk, just ha I have a picture of this man laying dead on my phone and it's disturbing the shit out of me. We need to have a conversation. Okay. So subscribe, do that, all that good, good shit. And now let's drop this intro so we can just get on with this video because Okay, guys, so let me give you a fast rundown before we go into the videos I have, okay? Because you know how certain communities work, right? Communities, you know, will have the information before everybody else. I just made a phone call and I literally got five videos and a Facebook video set up for us to watch, to watch how these intruders got into this man's house, how they murdered him, his dead. I'm not showing the dead body. I cannot show the dead body, but like, what? Let's start from the beginning because this is going to be a long video. Um, so we woke up, we all woke up this morning and you know what is fucked up? Let me just say this. It's fucked up because I, again, I was just having a conversation with this person about this and they're like trying to explain this to me. So apparently since 1986 or something like that, like all of the presidents, nobody has like made it through the presidency, right? It's the crab in a barrel mentality. It's the crab in a barrel mentality they, they, they put into our community, um, our Haitian community, all of our communities that are just like, just, yo, let's, uh, let's just, oh, uh. all right. So this man, Haitian president assassinated and first lady, lady hospitalized amid political unrest. So what I comprehend, the person I just spoke to said that people are saying she's dead. I, um, she has passed. I don't want to say the D word. I said it, she not said it, whatever. Um, she passed. I can understand why they would. Um, I know a lot of, I know a lot of Haitians. I'm from Brooklyn, you know, um, I'm from Brooklyn. I know people who have been ex um, sent back to Haiti, you know, didn't grow up there, came when they was a baby and like they were like literally off the head. You can't say the word, but you know what I mean. That's how we get down. Um, and again, it's just a bunch of a lot of crab in a barrel shit. You know, you don't want to see a one black man do better, even though it's all about, you know, trying to get in so you could steal something and try to run and get away and like get something and not really caring about your country. Right. I, I associate this right now with Nigeria. Right. Nigeria got all them rich people. But the poverty, the people who are pop, uh, people who are living in poverty, the poverty is poverty. Right. Because everybody is out for their selves and their own. Anyway, so it reads Haitian president Javanel Moise Mose, I don't know, was assassinated at his home late Tuesday, according to multiple reports. And his wife, First Lady Martine Mose. Moise was shot in the overnight attack and hospitalized. Her condition is currently unknown. Reportedly, a group of unidentified individual, individuals, some speak in Spanish, attacked the private residence of the president of the Republic and thus fatally wounded the head of state, the prime minister said. In recent months, the street of Haiti became jammed with, am with angry protests the demanding the removal of Dr. M of Mr. Moise, who reportedly had uh, held the office uh, despite many, including constitutional scholars and legal experts, contending that his term had expired. Reportedly, or apparently, there was supposed to be an election for, again, from what I heard from one of my uh, Haitian sensations, okay? I love them. Anyway. He, it was supposed to be an election at the end of this year, okay? Don't believe everything you read. Fine. 
find you a Haitian and ask them some questions. Anyway, reportedly, armed gangs control the streets and have taken to kidnap and even school children and church pastors in the middle of their service amid anger that Haiti has not rebuilt since the devastation of uh, since the devastating earthquake 11 years ago. Maybe if you weren't murdering people and kidnapping children, you would be, a and taking bribes to do fucked up shit. You would be able to put money into your country, but okay. Poverty and hunger are on the rise and the government has been accused of enriching itself while not providing even the most basic service were among the complaints from the people. Just to replace him with somebody who's going to do the same damn thing and who you're going to end up trying to murder and blame for the bullshit a year and two years from now. Okay, so Biden released a statement. Well, the White House released a statement. We're shocked and saddened to hear that of the horrific assassination of President Javalel Moises. I didn't. I should have asked the, the correct pronunciation of the name, but here we are. Um, we condemn this uh, heinous act, and I am sending my sincere wishes for First Lady uh, Recovery. The United States offers condolences to the people of Haiti, and we stand ready to assist as we continue to work for a safe and secure Haiti. Listen, I don't believe that. Okay, the people who broke into the crib. Let me play this one video first. Okay, I told y'all I got videos. We're talking about their DEA. Mind you, Haiti do not have um, military, right? But they have police. How did this president get murdered? How did this ha happen? Okay, the D. The, let me let me just let me just let me let me again. You know how the Haitians are. Okay, I don't know if anybody else have any of these videos on any of these YouTube stations. Um, you know, it goes around in our communities before it goes to the bigger sources. So I might actually be breaking a story. Are we breaking a story? We may just be. Anyway, share. Okay, where are we? Where are we? All right, here we go. I'm going to let this play out. Hold on. It's a face. That's how it's a fake, a Haitian Facebook group. Again, I know the peoples. Who knows the people? Listen up, y'all. Hold on. Let me make sure the volume is as high as possible so you can hear it. All right. Listen. They talk about DEA. DEA, put your guns down. They telling the police, mind you, hold on. This is the police, the, the, the armed police who secure him. People came in, not, not Haitians, again, mercenaries came in, again, speaking Spanish, speaking whatever, speaking English, you know, they are saying, DEA, put your weapons down. This is what they're saying. I'm not saying it's the DEA. I'm saying that's what they said. I don't speak Creole, but I do hear DEA put the, put the guns down. It's a it's a DEA operation. Okay, everybody put your guns down. Do not shoot. It's the DEA. So they acting like they just came. It's the United States government coming in for whatever, for some for some appropriate shit. The setup. Ooh, and I just told, listen, 
Let me read this comment because I just told the person who sent me this, this same thing. He was like, I don't understand how they just put it down and just let these people, these, you know, people just walk in. And I'm like, cause Haitians, black people in general, but Haitians, whatever, are afraid of white people. White people come with guns talking about they have power. They're going to fold. Okay, and this is exactly what happened. Look at this comment from this person over here. She said, Haitians are so afraid of white people. That's what USGPN is, is talking. They listen to DNA. They just stand down. What the fuck? You're protecting the president. Yes, they just stand down. It's a DEA operation. Shout out for cell phone cameras. Shout out for cell phone cameras. Shout out for nosy black people all over the world. Because they would have just, we would they to just act like they would have just act like it was you saw how we read that article a couple of minutes ago and they were acting like you know the streets are unrest you know it was basically uh, uh, making people try to assume that it's haitians other haitians that came in and, and did this shit to the president white dea agents allegedly and i got more videos we're gonna be here for a good 20 minutes They just came in and stood down. You hear the, you hear, you hear it, you hear it popping on. I don't speak Creole. Bish. Hold on, let me move it. Shit. It's the, they talking about the president. Yep. Bullshit. It's bullshit. All right. I got more videos for y'all. This person, I got, hold on, let me close this out. Let me shut this down. Couple, the rest of them are like a couple seconds or whatever, but you're going to get the, you're going to get the, the hint. You don't get the hint. Hold on. Hold on. This one. I think this is the same video we was watching, wasn't it? This is the same video we just watched. Okay, so let me close this out. It was separate. Let me open this one. Hold on. Hold on. I want to just. I want to. I want y'all to see. Out and question. Did the United States government? Let's do this. Did <laughs> Yep. They driving in and they little DEA trucks. Yo. Yo. Oops, sorry. They driving in and they little DEA trucks. But again, I don't even know because it might. Who knows? Who knows? We we ain't never going to know. I know that the United States made a comp, made a statement far too soon. People in their homes were recording this. Listen, this is the same thing. Again, I have a picture of him on the floor. I'm not showing it. Um, Y'all, the real question is, who did this? 
Um, the real question is, they really try to set it up to make it look like Haitians did this when it's white men that came in there. They even try to make it look like it might be the Dominicans talking about some people were speaking Spanish or whatever. And, you know, a DR and Haiti share the same island and they got beef, right? So they try to make it seem they like some Spanish speaking people. You see how they drop those little bit of things. You see how people set up um, a narrative, okay, when the real narrative Shot out to the WhatsApp chats. Shot out to the Caribbean sensation and they WhatsApp chats. You know what? I'm always complaining about my parents sending me, acting like WhatsApp is social media. You know how older people, they act like WhatsApp is social media and they send all of this stuff around. But if we didn't have those community-based, you know, the Panamanian WhatsApp group. They probably got a couple thousand people up in here and like the Haitian WhatsApp groups and like the, like everybody has that, right? So much shit would go under the radar, right? Because they love to censor everything. You ain't censored a WhatsApp chat. Something is up. We don't know what, but something funny, honey.